Good morning, guys. From Pearland, Texas. It's not even seven o'clock yet in the morning. And so I would consider this a bedhead talk. Um, I received a question in my messenger. So I told you if you asked me questions, I would answer them here. The question came from Tony Wilson. So that question was, let me open it up if you don't mind from my messenger. It is, he says, let me read. Hey Kate, I want you to know I'm not being critical at all. I'm just asking you, uh, is this the will of God? So, Tony, thank you for submitting your question. I think I'll call these clips Ask Me Kate. And I have an answer for you. First of all, last week I was watching my mother's poodle. My mom was watering her yard. And the poodle kept biting the water and barking and chasing. And sometimes my mom even had to squirt the water away just to say, you know, go over there. And she'd run after it. All the while my mom was just like, stop it, stop it. Stop biting the water. But this dog does it every single day. Every time my mom waters the plants, no matter how many times she was told, stop it. She still bites the water. It's in her. She doesn't know why. She has no labels. She's a dog. But we, sort of the creators of that dog, because we breed dogs the way that we do, we know. She's a water dog. She's got curly hair. She's a poodle. She is bred with that passion for water. She doesn't know that. And all the while, her owner is telling her, stop it, don't stop it. Is it really fair for her, the water dog, to be constantly told, you shouldn't want to chase this water? I, I don't know. You know that, that question is for you to answer now. But me in my life, I've had to just come to the realization that I love women. And I don't know why. So, is it the will of God? You and I probably have different ideas of who God is. But I'm gonna I'm going to just understand that I used to believe like you, so I'm gonna go with that whole your God thing. Is it the will of your God, Tony, for me to be this way? And I'm going to have to say Yes. I cannot keep fighting my desire to chase the water. While society barks at me, no, no, no. I don't know why I have to chase the water. It's just how I am. So, is it the will of God for me? So that I have to answer that with I think so. All right, and Tony's response to my answer is, so you can't tell me at all. And there's some typos here, but I'll omit them. That is your way of not addressing the issue. I never asked you to go my way. I only said I would support you if you could give me scripture and verse. And your statement is not true. Second Corinthians 4, 3 to 4. Tell us that you are blind to the truth. So I ask you, if I tell you the truth, are we? And you omit some words. Okay, I'm going to have to reread his answer without his typos. So you can't tell me at all. That is your way of not addressing the issue. I never asked you to go my way. I only said I would support you if you could give me scripture and verse. And your statement is not true. 2 Corinthians 4, 3-4. through 4. Tell us that you are blind to the truth. So I ask you, if I tell you the truth, are we to become enemies? Okay. Well, I left it at that. I believe Tony feels as if he's winning an argument that he's fighting alone, so it's not a battle for me. But since I am doing this video, 
Maybe I should answer that question. Are we to become enemies? Personally, I don't like enemies anywhere. I walk in love and peace. I can love you where you are, and you don't have to agree with me. All right. Um, I will say that your scripture tells us that you are blind to the truth. Did I not just give you a truth? Even though it not being not necessarily a scripture and verse, it is a truth about the water dog. That is a truth, perhaps then, that you should consider. Just my thoughts. Anyways, lots of love to you, Tony, and thank you for submitting your question. Don't forget, guys, hit like and subscribe and check in and keep watching. This journey is a wild ride.